Now we come to one, two, and three dimensional flows. A fluid flow, uh, when a fluid is flowing, and we need to consider it, analyze it in mathematical terms, we need to see whether it is uh, one dimensional, two dimensional, or three dimensional. That is, its parameters are changing or moving in all these directions. So, in the many times, if they are moving in a limited direction or uh, in one of the direction instead of three, then it that makes it that much simpler and easier to solve uh, the problem, the such a fluid flow conditions and to predict the motion. But if it is two dimensional or three dimensional, then it becomes that much complicated. But then there are several techniques uh, to simplify them and still they can be solved. So, uh, we shall consider as they will come at the moment, we are just introducing or describing what kind of flows these three can be and how do we address them. A flow field is best characterized by velocity distribution and thus a flow is said to be one two or three dimensional uh, if the flow velocity varies in one, two or three primary uh, directions uh, or dimensions. So, velocity is the main player in a fluid flow, the velocity vector and it has uh, three components x, y, z as you know. So, a typical fluid flow involves a three-dimensional uh, geometry and the velocity may vary in all three dimensions, rendering the flow three-dimensional. The velocity vector will have its component in x, y and z direction if we are considering rectangular coordinates or if we are considering cylindrical coordinates, let us say the fluid is flowing in a pipe for example, then the geometry is cylindrical, then it is better, more convenient and easier to solve the fluid flow situation uh, in a cylindrical polar coordinates. So, uh, the rectangular coordinates are considered as x, y, z as you know and cylindrical r, u and z or similar terminology that we use. However, the variation of the velocity in certain directions can be small relative to the variation in other direction. And therefore, for example, if the, fluid, if the velocity vector is dominating, let us say, in x direction, then the fluid flow can be ignored in y and z directions or in only in r direction and it can be ignored in u and z directions. It depends, all depends on the flow situation and uh, therefore, we consider it, for example, we here is a fluid flow situation. We try to see how it is moving and then we, when we are solving, when we are modeling the equations for this problem and trying to solve the situation with appropriate boundary conditions, then you can see the, how the fluid is developing. Here is a pipe that is attached to a fluid coming from the left hand side as you see and it is going to in the right hand direction. As the flow is introduced into the pipe, then you can see and let us say because it is cylindrical, therefore we are choosing its motion as x, y, and z, r, y, and z. So, here the two dimensions that are important are shown to you. r is the radius that is belongs to the, that is particular to the cylinder and z is its axial direction. So, you can see as the flow is moving into the pipe, in the beginning it is uniform, then viscosity is taking its effect. 
we shall be talking about viscosity a little later and therefore close to the boundary the fluid sticks to the boundary the solid boundary and therefore its speed there is zero and as the fluid moves away from the boundary it picks up some speed and it gets its maximum value where r is equal to zero and therefore as you can see as you may see in the picture the middle point is a smooth but the point close to the boundary is not that smooth and it's taking point shape from zero onwards after a while if we let the fluid flow for a while then it takes a position as you can see step by step the picture is trying to show its movement and its profile then you see that as after a while it takes a uniform shape the last two picture are almost show, showing identical conditions and that we can consider for the sake of solution of a problem and analysis of a fluid flow as a steady condition and we are going to solve it attack it in that way so and we call it as fully fluid profile velocity profile you can look at it it has a maximum value at r equal to 0 it has a zero value at the boundary where the radius is equal to the value r r may be equal to a there if a is the radius but in between it is changing close to the boundary the velocity is very small as you move towards the central point where r is 0 then it is having the maximum value and it remains the same onwards so this was just a description of one two three dimension in cylindrical motion